Hello fellas and files, Film Guru here. Today I'm reviewing The Little Things. This was written and directed by John Lee Hancock and stars Denzel Washington, Rami Malek and Jared Leto. The film looks at Deputy Sheriff Joe Derek Deacon, played by Denzel Washington, who joins forces with Sergeant Jim Baxter, played by Rami Malek, to search for a serial killer who's terrorizing Los Angeles. As they track the culprit, Baxter is unaware that the investigation is dredging up echoes of Deke, Deke's past, uncovering disturbing secrets that could threaten more than just his case. This was a film I was looking forward to. As soon as I saw the trailer, I just felt like it was the type of film I really wanted to see. Sort of dark and twisted and about a serial killer and these two men trying to track him down. I kind of liked that aspect to it. In, in certain ways, it felt a small smidgen like Seven and True Detective. Not as dark and as, as foreboding as those two things are, but it just sort of touched on that and felt a little bit like that and ultimately went a different direction towards the end of the film. I think John Lee Hancock is a solid filmmaker. I know him more as a screenwriter and my, one of my favorite scripts he's ever written is the Clint Eastwood film A Perfect World, which is based upon a book. I think that's such a beautiful film and such a well-written film with really great characters. And he has that ability. And as a director, like The Founder, I thought was very interestingly done and Michael Keaton was really good in it. He's just a little unconventional. He's more drama-based than he is any other genre. And I think in a way that sort of let him down a little bit with this film. I think he did a solid job with it, don't get me wrong. It's really well done, really well acted and put together. I just felt like he didn't quite understand how to use that sort of thriller element that you really need for a film like this. But in saying that, I think he still has done a really great job. I think all the acting is really good. I think Rami Malek is solid. He's a unique actor and to see him play sort of a straight laced cop just seemed a bit strange for me to begin with, but I grew to enjoy his performance. I just feel he's an actor that needs something that's a bit different and a bit quirky, much like himself. I think Denzel Washington is fantastic. He's an actor I've really loved for a long time. He plays, a, it's a really subtle performance here and really internal performance. And he expresses so much with a look and, and an expression than, than words. And I really like what he does here. It really draws you and you really feel for him to begin with and you really want to know his history and we get to see snippets of it throughout the film and then it's revealed exactly what happened in his past and how he ended up being a deputy sheriff rather than a detective like he used to be. And he's a very engaging sort of character. But I think by far the, the person who steals the film and does one of the great performances, Jared Leto, He's really creepy and disturbing and he's, he's got, you know, sort of greasy hair and he's got a bit of a stomach and he's got this prosthetic nose that Jared Leto put him in this particular walk and attitude. But he's kind of absurdly funny and ultimately you can't take your eyes off him when he's on screen. But you feel unsettled by him, you feel a bit creeped out, I'm quite sure if he is what he seems to be and I kind of like that. He's an actor who's working on a different level. He's up there with where Heath Ledger was when he passed away with the, you know, playing the Joker in The Dark Knight. They're just hitting this level. They're, they're expressing things. They're able to harness these characters and build them in such a really great way and add a lot to it and really make that character themselves and inhabit that character rather than playing a character. And, and I think Jared Leto does a fantastic job here. He's just really mesmerizing to watch. His interactions and scenes between him and Rami Malek and him and Denzel Washington are just fantastic to watch. I just was really roped in by him and he's just such a great actor and what a performance. I think the first half of the film is solid. The first two acts really set up the story. It's a little slow burn, but it sets up who Deacon is and, and, and ultimately what transpired and his reluctance to go to LA. And the reason he goes to LA is kind of a simple thing, but he gets swept up in it. And just his whole interaction with people is very interesting. And I think they just sort of sum him up really well. And we learn a little bit around Malik's character, Baxter, that he's, you know, on this case trying to find a serial killer and he's new to the department and he's sort of taken over from where Deacon left off when he left. And it's sort of a clash to begin with, but it sort of ultimately becomes a bond between these men trying to right some wrongs. I really liked the way it was shot and it was sort of dark and sort of moody and I liked that. I liked that they were able to show how certain things were worked out and how Deacon's mind worked. It really looks at him being sort of a damaged character and I thought that was great. I liked the use of music. And they did something here that I don't usually see, so they never really show any of the murders. 
taking place. It's more of the after effect, more after it. So it creates more of a mystery of who this person is who's doing this, because you never see glimpses of them. We never really see any of them. I felt invested in the characters. I found it entertaining and interesting, and I was along for the ride. I wanted to know what transpired, what was going to transpire and happen. And like a lot of people are saying, once Jared Leto comes into the film, it really comes alive. He really becomes this centerpiece and such a fascinating thing to watch. That's all I really liked about it. Like a lot of other people, I didn't lo love the third act or really the ending. I just felt the ending lets the film down. They could have really taken it in a different direction. It would have been a better choice. I could see why they were doing it. I just didn't love it. There's something they show about Deakin in it that sort of changes your perception of him and I don't think that was a... I don't know if I like that idea because he's a character meant to root for and get behind but with this choice I don't know if you really feel as much for him in the end as you did at the beginning of the film. But that's all I really didn't like about it. I just felt it could have been much better than it was and it just felt a little... the ending sort of made the film a little bit disappointing. Final thoughts. Really in the end it's about how people... some people get stuck with regret about the sort of choices they made, decisions that they pursued, and just how they, they live in regret of what has transpired. And they're trying to make up for it. It's sort of like they become comfortable in a certain way of being, and they struggle with who they are as people. And I think that's sort of what the film's sort of getting at. I'm gonna give The Little Things three and a half out of five. I thought it was solid. It could have been better, but I did kind of enjoy my experience with it. Anyway, that's all from me today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit subscribe down the bottom. Follow me on Facebook. Otherwise, until next time, enjoy the movies.